So this is the day that I'm dyeing my recently finished robe with turmeric. And so you need a pot or two, uh, boiling water, some metal things to poke with, turmeric obviously. Um, it was really difficult to find specific recommendations about how, how much to use, but a couple of websites said that uh, you should use half the weight of turmeric to fabric. I have my robe in this bucket, recently washed, still wet. And I have a whisk and a poker thing, rubber gloves, or whatever, and another pot over there because I will be straining, straining the liquid uh, so that I don't have um, deposits of turmeric powder in in the fabric after. So I weighed my robe uh, when it was dry uh, and it weighed approximately 500 grams so I will be using uh, this is 100 grams of turmeric I have two of those and one of these jars which contains uh, 43, 43 grams, very logical. Anyhow, so we just pour it in, I guess. Smells very earthy. So we turn that down. It says to simmer the dye bath for, whoa, very earthy. Um, various amounts of times one one site says one hour uh, so we'll see how much patience i have today <laughs> uh i'm not sure if i should put a lid on or not what do your husband think lid or no lid lid he says lid Okay, so we put a lid on, like so. So it's down to one. One with the lid on should be sufficient for it to keep simmering, but not boil too much. You're not making pasta. Um, so then I'll set the timer and go watch something on TV. So what it's been like 20, 25 minutes. <clears throat> and I mean, it looks the same. I don't know what it's supposed to look like. It's yellow. I want it to be yellow. So um, I'm going to leave it for 10-15 minutes more just to see if something happens uh, but otherwise yay so it's been it's been half an hour um, it, it looks the same uh, 
we're just gonna proceed to do it. It looks the same. We're, gonna, we're just gonna do it. Uh, so we're gonna strain it. I put my big pot with the, um, this contraption on it. Um, I have a sieve and this uh, straining cloth. Uh, the sieve is just to, you know, if there are any bigger particulates, I have no idea, just in case. And um, in the sink, because better height. It's like gruel. It looks like mashed sweet potatoes. There are some particulates still in there, but uh, it's not not very much actually. <clears throat> I think it's time to um, put the fabric in. needs to cover the fabric. It says some some of the website says it should be free floating. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what that means but it needs to be able to soak up everything in all the little Corners and everywhere. So we squish it down. And then it's supposed to boil or simmer. again for a while so we'll just get it back on the stove It looks delicious, actually. Um, just trying to get it under.
So it's supposed to simmer for, let's say, half an hour. So it's been like 45 minutes. Um, and it's really yellow. Uh, so we're gonna drain it out in in the sink and use this to rinse to rinse <laughs> Now the websites say that you should rinse until the water is clear uh, So obviously I have to cool it down first because, you know, it's boiling. So um, this is going to take a while. I'm going to do this off camera. So we've been doing this for a while now. And... Um, We're just gonna not do it anymore. <laughs> uh, it's uh, still uh, giving out some. Uh, if you can shoot this, still giving out some. Um, but my patience uh, is no more. Uh, so I'm just gonna do this one more time. And then we're gonna figure out how to dry it. So it's done. Put the elastic in. You can pull it up. It won't fall down. It's just long enough. And it's so incredibly yellow. I mean, it turned out so much more yellow than I thought. It would. I'm, I'm so happy. I, I'm so happy with it. Um, and uh, because it doesn't really overlap, I can just walk around with it like this, put stuff in my pockets and be all yellow and nice and every day. I love it. Thanks for watching.